What's up guys, I'm at Overland Expo Mountain West in Loveland, Colorado, just outside of Denver. And as you guys know, I always try to find the things that catch my eye, something different, something I've never seen before. Jason, introduce yourself to the world and tell us what you got. Jason Bontrager, I'm the CEO and founder, co-founder of uh, uh, Skinny Guy Campers. And uh, we're, we're so happy to be able to be here at uh, Overland. So, like I said, uh, something I've never seen before. You guys got something unique. It's a truck camper that can fit in your garage, right? Yeah. So yeah. Let, let's talk about it. Definitely, yeah. we wanted to fit. We wanted to fit um, a lot of features in a small package, <clears throat> and uh, so a lot of times we, we're looked at as a rooftop tent. Well, we're a lot more than that. We are a rooftop tent, but we're also a truck camper that is all compact into a, uh, a cap high envelope. And it's not. It's not just a camper either. I mean, you got full features. Water, flushing toilet. We do. We'll, we'll talk about all that stuff. Yeah, here. I guess. Yeah, yeah the the, yeah. the term camper can be used a lot of different ways. I guess my, my background is um, I come from the RV industry, uh -huh. and which a lot of people have different opinions on it. But what the RV industry does well it has a lot of features. So uh -huh. again, we've tried to pack all of those features. We ha basically we have everything that an RV has except for um, an air conditioner. It's the only yeah. thing we don't have. But you guys got a shower it. too. You got. We do. I mean, we're going to talk about that here in a second, but I've never seen a truck camper, a, a topper or whatever you call it, yeah. quite like yours. So yeah. let's, let's yeah. do this. Yeah. yeah, and we also, we don't even, uh, we actually offer several different levels. So okay. you can get in it at a bare bones uh, price for a pretty low price. And then just upgrade over time. You, yeah, you can up, upgrade or up it as you go. So okay. the high end is what you're seeing here. So this is our kit and caboodle package. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Every, and that's actually what we call it, the kit and caboodle <laughs> package. So um, with the Primo Lou, the Primo Lou is our toilet option. Nice. So, yeah, so let's start on the Let's exterior. go, yeah. Um, yeah let's so, start with the truck. Wait, what is this truck? Let's start yeah, off. So what is this? This is uh, actually my buddy Donovan. This is uh, his truck. He's based out of Bozeman, Montana. Uh -huh. um, he's one of our one of our dealers and actually is a co-founder of Skinny Guy Campers. And uh, this is his, uh, I believe it's a 21, 2021 uh, Ram. 2500. He's got the turbo diesel in it. This thing and, is beautiful, man. Yeah, Lifted. See, it's beautiful, yeah. Got, I believe uh, he's got 40s on it. I'm not sure the wheel size. I want to say 17. Mm -hmm. uh, 17 or 20. But, uh, but yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, he's got, he, he's into fly fishing quite a bit. Uh -huh. So some of the features you'll see on here are not a skinny guy camper feature. But, gotcha. um, but he's adapted his camper to what he loves to do. Yeah. Which is what we're really hoping that a lot of our customers do. That's what everybody I, can do. Yeah, right? yeah, I love mountain biking. So a lot mm -hmm. of the stuff on mine is going to be mountain bike related. Uh -huh. So yeah, so the, the outside skin on the camper is 1 8 inch aluminum. And in a general sense, we use only aluminum and stainless steel mm -hmm. um, as uh, structure and fasteners on, a, on our, uh, our camper. So uh, 1 8 inch thick aluminum, we offer four color options. This is black. The, the, the product over here is gray. We also offer a gunmetal, which is the in between the two. Mm -hmm. And we offer a raw. So if a customer wants to paint the uh, camper custom to match their truck mm -hmm. or whatever design they want, they can do that or they can wrap it. Yeah. And so we recommend the raw for that. Nice. Um, as far as getting the product on and off their truck, we have a mounting system that has to be installed in the bed, but it's really tucked up in the sides. Mm -hmm. So, and then we have three, we have actually, we have two, um, two mounting ports on either side. These are for our jacks. And our jacks are, you can see one over here on this product. Well, let's take a look. Yep. So there's what it actually looks like. These are fully removable. So you can pull the entire thing out and leave them in your garage. So after you load this thing on your vehicle, mm -hmm. you can you can leave them in your garage. You don't need to take them with you. So nice. Yep. It just keeps the light keeps lighting up the, the product. Uh, yeah. So we have our tie down system in the bed. Um, we have a molly rack on the back. And again, what you're seeing here is everything that's in the kit and caboodle package. So a little bit of branding here on the back. Eventually, we'll do more of the molly rack system. Um, mm -hmm. This is just where we believe the most advantage is to have it. Yep. Um, one of the key features of a skinny guy camper is you retain half of your bed storage. That's so huge. Yeah. huge. So <clears throat> all of what lives in here in the, in the underbelly, so the floor height is here. What lives in here, though, is your tanks. So you got mm -hmm. two water tanks, roughly 25 gallons of water. You get a black, with a Primo Lou option, you get a black tank. So that, that collects, you have um, your discharge station here. So you got your tank heater, 
which keeps your uh, tanks nice and warm so nothing freezes. Um, your macerator, which when you go to dump the black, you just hook up a hose and run into a toilet and it'll push it, it out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Question Donovan, Donovan's got the a tank eater are eating out. Donovan's got a uh, truck vault. Sorry, real quick, we're in a video. No problem. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. He's got a truck vault that he's installed. This is just his own personal choice. Of what and, he likes to do. and I heard that you can put truck vault or deck or yeah, whatever you we, want. We've designed, huh? we're really trying to design for the most popular um, truck storage systems in the mm -hmm. So that way, um, yeah, that way, uh, however somebody wants to customize it. You got options. Yep. Yeah. So this is our sports system. This is our strut assist. So this allows for uh, assist assisted to lifting go back. of the roof, roof slash bed platform. Underneath the um, the bed, on top of the roof, is this is our rack system, so you can actually oh, mount a, yeah. a, a see. bike rack to it, uh -huh. if you want. Um, and then the solar panel out here can be folded out. It's on a hinge point right here, so and yeah. these, and these are a support system for that. So um, you can fold it out to use it while you camp, then it folds in, it faces this way when you're the road so once this is folded over it's facing up again to get charged as you're driving down the road oh nice so it's charging at all times yep. it's charging there or when it's in stowed position exactly very smart yep thanks this is uh this is a one-off this is a prototype feature uh, that donovan's developed um eventually we may end up doing this but this is for his fly fishing raft oh. for his fly rods so yeah, this yeah. is a storage system that he's put in here for his fly rods once the camper is all folded down this will go down over, on top locks on and then um, he can put his raft up on top there <laughs> and uh get going. nice so these are our two water fills we got two different tanks on this model this is for allows you to charge your uh your battery while you're you know, it's in your garage oh nice. this is just an exhaust for our, our truma combi mm -hmm. heater and water heater this this unit is amazing it does both heat and hot water so it's one unit that's nice that you can yep. warm this tent up if you're camping in some little bit cooler yeah exactly. environments that's nice yeah. this is just an exhaust port for the sink so when you, when yeah. the everything everything water's going through your, your gray water sink. just comes down yeah, yeah. It just comes down and out so. yep familiar yep. with that yeah so cool. would you like to head inside yeah let's go check it out that's good so here's here's something that's a little different most of these guys enter through the back right, right yep. or some guys climb through mm -hmm. the tailgate and get inside the tent yep. you guys are different I've never seen yeah. this you come through the side yeah we've tried to make it a little bit easier um, this is this is just a great solid ladder that we, mm -hmm. we like that we've gone with um, yeah we have a side entry and a lot of the entries are a little higher Mm -hmm. for a rooftop tent. Ours is nice nice and lower. It's different. Right I've never seen floor. that. The floor is right here, too. So yeah. you're right to the floor. And do uh, you want to go in? Or here, I'll, I'll go in first. first. Okay. Yeah. So, nice little grab handles, by the way. You can just do that. Step in here. All right. So there's a lot of capability in here as well. So, I mean, you've got six and a half, six foot seven inches of clearance. It's inside tall. so I'm six foot you can see how much clearance I still have um, our lights are touch activated so on the ends nice. we run the wire up through the pole so it's not wishy-washy wire on the mm -hmm. exposed all of our lights down here are also touch activated so and they're and then they all ultimately power off here so we got three switches for the two for the lights one for the water pump <clears throat> So that's how that works. We do use a Red Arc Manager 30 on our kit and caboodle package to charge the solar, allow the solar panel charge to charge the batteries. Truma lives below here. We use a Dometic cooler refrigerator. The solar panel, 190 watt, by the way, has been running this thing solid all it's day. Topping it off so all the time. That's nice. It, it's it's more than we need, which is great. Sink, uh, cooktop, so you can cook inside. You can do whatever you need to do in the kitchen. Storage mm -hmm. below that. We have a Desantrax Freedom X inverter on board. CO and uh, CO2 detector right there. This drain is here because we want to allow somebody, if they need to, to be able to hose out the floor. Um, <laughs> or if they want, they can yeah. clip on a shower curtain. Yeah. They could actually shower right here. So that that's another thing that you hardly ever see in these things is. You usually can't take a shower yeah. in one of these. Yeah, uh, definitely. But you guys already have that. That's yep. so that's so cool. We've got the drain, and then this is a little 
kitchen table that you can a lagoon use table. there and it moves around and anywhere you nice want and it. Easy. Yep. Uh, another great feature, again, this is the Primo Lou option, mm -hmm. is the toilet. So we have a flushing toilet <laughs> right here. And that uh, is easy to use and it's comfortable to sit on. And in fact, I think Donovan has installed a bidet in his. So that is cool. got the only bidet. So can you demo to the guys? This is not just a portable toilet, right? Like this literally goes to a holding tank, like a great uh, black tank. Yep. That's incredible. Yep. I've never heard of a black tank in a tent like this. Yep. <laughs> that is so cool. Ones. That is <laughs> so ones. awesome. Yep. So, um, yeah, so that's great. And then right here, look, you got a bunch of storage below here. Oh, even more? Yeah, yeah. storage, bedding, or nice here. Uh, below here is where our propane tank resides. Mm. There is a door for the, on the outside that I forgot to show you. So the access is obviously on the outside. On the outside. Yeah. That's an entirely sealed mm -hmm. compartment as well with mm -hmm. venting above and below. Let me uh, switch spots here. Yeah. And then uh, below here, we've got um, a little bit more storage. Mm -hmm. This is where Donovan puts his bedding. And then below here is our, uh, our electrical compartment. So inverter, battery. Uh, he, he has installed a uh, lithium iron phosphate battery nice. and this is also where all the fuses reside. Yeah. On the manufacturing side we actually use a, uh, I'm really proud of this from a manufacturing standpoint, <clears throat> we use a wire harness so the wire harness we don't do any free strung wiring mm -hmm. we get the wire harness from a, an expert wire manufacturer mm -hmm. and all we do is string it in snap everything together it's automotive connections so mm -hmm. it's all That's very nice. automotive in nature. Nice. This, one last feature here. This is a uh, bull finch shower port. <clears throat> so, oh yeah, I've seen so those. you can use that to turn your water hot and cold. Really nice system. And of course your fire extinguisher. Got to have a fire of, extinguisher. Uh, case of that. So, oh, I just noticed you have even more storage over here too. Yeah, we got a little. Bit. Yeah, we try to. We're trying to use every little uh -huh. uh, cubic cubic inch that we've got. So. And then what's what are these also storage? These are storage as well. So, water pump and plumbing. Oh, I see access to your water pump. And this is actually indoor outdoor storage. So there is a compartment door uh -huh. on the outside that you can Oh, access. I see it right there. Yeah. Access all that. So nice. Yeah, really great South Coast latches we mm -hmm. use. There's a couple different manufacturers out there. We may go back and forth depending on supply chain, but mm -hmm. we, we like this one a lot. Cool. Yeah. Now let, let's kind of talk about the tent part here. Definitely. I mean, what what's going on with the tent material and stuff? Yeah. Our tent is uh, it's called Aqualon. It's uh, I believe the main the manufacturer name is um, Tri Advantage. Uh, it's a great tent. Um, it's the type of thing where if you do get a hole in it, it's not going to split. It's not mm -hmm. going to continue to split. Kind of like ripstop. Uh, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So it's a very good material. It's one of the most coveted materials, if you will, in the RV industry. Um, and in the camper industry, it's pretty, very, very durable. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're always looking for better sure. material out there. So yeah, I can see. Obviously, you can close it up and block the yeah. block the sun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Uh, so the other thing I want to point out is our screen is a no CM screen. Mm -hmm. So meaning that the the grid is tight enough that the no CM CM bugs won't get in. If you're going to be camping in places where those yeah reside, so. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, that's a big part of camping, right? It's bugs. It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you can, again, we don't have an AC, but we have a lot of windows. Yeah. Uh, not only for the view, but also mm -hmm. for ventilation. The air is flowing through here really good. It yeah. is. Yeah. So, Very you know. cool. Yeah. Um, the bed, I know guys watching this are going to be wondering what's up with the bed now. Because we saw the, the struts out there. How much weight can that thing hold? Yeah, so we do a. Um, uh, Trying to think of the engineering term, we basically basically we, we test to double of what we want to rate it to. Mm -hmm. So we've tested our bed to 1,000 pounds, and we then rate it, and it's withstood all of it. We've actually tested it further, but we rate it to 500 pounds. Okay, so it's easily it's 500 pounds, pounds, right on. Uh, what size is that technically? That is about a six foot bed. Would that be considered like an RV queen kind of thing? Yeah, maybe. I guess you could call it. That. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. There's not really a term for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, we we try to fill the space as best we can. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like two people easily. Two people easily. Definitely. Two people and a dog. Yeah. Maybe a small kid. I can. Um, if you want. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Just so you can see. So I typically sleep with my head at the end. Yeah. And you're a big dude. You're you're yeah, probably just a little bit bigger than me. I'm six foot. So. Yeah. So you got yeah you got plenty of room. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, does any of this section here convert to a bed too or no? 
it can. Yeah, it can. Uh, in fact, Donovan and his wife Kelsey and their their son Campbell, mm-hmm. uh, when they go camping, they take this and they sleep up there, and then uh, over here, uh, Campbell will actually lay here. Yeah, if the, if the refrigerator down. If the kid's small enough, you can actually go. Yeah, all the way there, huh? Yep. Yep. So you might even be able to fit two more. Yeah. Uh, depending on the height of your child, you put one here, the feet cross a little. Yeah. Bit, it's a good spot for a dog too if you had a dog uh, yep. that's nice yep. i like it so, fair, fair amount of capability mm-hmm. those that want to get way off the grid or <laughs> on the wilderness yeah love it man that is that is so cool thank you very much oh one last feature i didn't point out uh-huh. um, this is a, a port that we have in our our tent that can be used in a lot of different ways i mean donovan uses it we use it in a couple different ways um but you can, as you're cooking in here, you can throw the trash in here. Oh, yeah. We've got our own little developed uh, trash can <laughs> holder here. So uh, as long as, as well as uh, if late at night, mm-hmm. the, the husband or boyfriend needs to go to the bathroom, <laughs> just do that. So, <laughs> yeah. That's funny that uh, this is something you do because I, I, when I go camping, we hang trash bags on the outside of our truck oh, too, okay. our cool. camper. So it's like, yeah, it yeah. comes in handy. And here's the outside yeah. of that. Uh, storage compartment as well so you can yeah, see in there through. the indoor outdoor yeah this is also where our winch system um, lives the winch system is used to fasten the front of the camper down on either side of the front mm-hmm. so one last feature i forgot to talk about yeah so what if, if you're in a very if you're in a, a spot where you need to collect water this our roof actually has a gutter system in it oh so it goes around the entire perimeter and then we have two hose fittings that we have installed in each corner. What? So you, can, uh, you can collect that water. Wow, so you can kind of live your, off grid, man, and yeah, collect water. Yeah, you can run it into your, uh, your tank. Yeah. That's you cool. Just drape that hose around and right into your water tank. And now is that standard, too? That's a standard that feature? That is a standard feature. Oh, that's mm-hmm. cool. Yep. I like it. It's got a little bit, a little bit of survival thing going on here. It does. A bit, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice, nice. Can you, um, since I got you, can you demonstrate that solar panel being sure. put away? So he's going to show you what it looks like when this solar panel is put away. And it was really windy on Thursday. It was very windy. And I heard this thing still held up pretty well. Yeah, it held, I mean, our product held up pretty well. Our, uh, our tents over here. Did not. <laughs> that's that's okay. Yeah. So it just folds right underneath. Oh, that's nice too. You don't have to unplug anything. Just like that. Nice and sturdy. So yeah, yeah. Once you. Uh, you put the roof back up, uh-huh. you can clasp it down, then your solar panel is facing up. So nice, you're still batteries. charging, yeah. yeah. So cool. Batteries. So obviously you gotta clean the yeah. dusty beer. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so the guys are gonna demonstrate how this actually folds yeah. down and how small it really is. So yeah, have at it guys. Sounds you wanna good. put it together? Yeah, sounds good. Donovan's going to Oh you can do a one man a one man yeah. uh, Donovan fold is very up. fast at this. He's uh, been able to use our product quite a bit so tell the folks out there who's watching this video um he's the uh, designer right donovan actually built our first prototype oh so, okay in okay his, uh, kwanzaa hut in uh, <laughs> montana so nice he and i we took a trip a couple years ago in uh just new zealand to do a hunting trip uh-huh. and uh, i was looking for something to do and i i had come from the rv industry and was ready to get into something new yeah um, we both had ideas in our head we collaborated and we decided to come up with this so. mm-hmm. Uh, started it in uh, 19 and have been developing since. So. Nice. Kind of perfect timing with 2020 and the demand yeah. skyrocketing. Everybody wants something to get out there. Yep. I, I see this too as a, a fantastic hunter's cabin. Yeah, right? It's on your yeah. uh, cabin on wheels. Yep. Yeah. And again, with the four different trim levels, I think there's a lot of opportunity mm-hmm. there for somebody to get in at a pretty mm-hmm. low price, but um, all the way up to everything. So. I mean, a lot of, if you look around at the Overland Expo, there's a lot of ways to update your rig. Yeah. Um, ours, especially in the kit caboodle package, has we, what we think is everything yeah. that you need. Maybe except the uh, storage, the storage uh, below the uh, camper itself. But, um, 
Yeah, so Donovan's breaking down the tent at the moment. So like you said, he has to take down the um, fridge. Yep. Takes the down the fridge top, and the cooktop. And the fridge. Yep, and uh, he's released the tensioners that uh -huh. hold that middle bow up. So that only took uh, like two or three minutes just to do that part. Yep, yep, uh, yep. So here he's just folding up the ladder. That stores. Um, oh, that's some a really it compact one. Some people store it inside, yeah. some people store it outside. I believe Donovan yep, stores it inside. That thing is tiny. Yeah. yeah. So that's our support bracket for the uh, ladder. Mm -hmm. um, here he's going to release the, uh, that's actually a push rod for the roof. So he's just getting that prepped to be able to push the roof up and over. Uh, with the height oh, yeah. of the product being so tall, uh, you need something to be able to get the leverage to assist, to yeah. push that over. So he, there's actually two support rods. He uses only one on the other side. Uh, there's two that we send with every every unit, every product. Uh -huh. um, and there you saw the motion to get everything pushed over. Yeah. Um, all of it lives on a stainless steel hinge you say you, you, across the you rear wall that, mm -hmm. that matches the channel, up the, uh, yeah, I the roof administer, um, and the, uh, roof the rear wall together. So now yeah, he's on the other uh, side uh, stuffing the tent in and uh, oh, now that he's got it all stuffed in, uh, coming, coming back around, he's getting ready to, getting ready to pull down the, uh, getting ready to pull down the roof, he's got to put the door on to make sure that's all sealed up oh. and then now he'll pull that down. Uh, Bind, here, put the two uh, binder clamps on there, and uh, next we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ah, that was pretty quick. Yep. And again, Donovan's a big time fly fisherman. Uh -huh. Lowering it down his rack on top. He's ready, uh -huh. to, he's ready to go fly fishing, except he's gotta go get his rack. <laughs> what would you say? That was like five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes Maybe. That's amazing, man. Yep. All right, so let's talk about this part now. So now, this is the big selling point, right? You can fit it in your garage. Yeah, the height of the camper. Um, yeah, the height of the camper. We're, we're just a little bit above the cab, cab height, but again, if this, if your truck is garageable, it'll with, fit with the camper on our on your truck. It'll fit as well. So that is so cool, man. Big, huge selling point right there. That's yep. probably the lowest profile truck camper I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. Is. <laughs> all right, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. All right, so for all the guys that have small trucks, this is a little demonstration of what you can do here too, right? Let's take yeah, a look. Definitely. This is our 2009 uh, Tacoma TRD Pro. Um, bought it about a year ago, and we've been upfitting it ever since. So uh, between the CBI bumpers and the method <coughs> method wheels and. Toyo and the old man emu suspension. It's a pretty nice rig. That is amazing. <laughs> Four winch on the front. So yeah, yeah it's a great rig. Um, but we we took it upon ourselves. There's really not a uh, full-on uh, truck camper available for Tacoma. So mm -hmm. we and we wanted to have our to put our touch onto onto that market. So this is this uh, our model 5.0. This is actually perfect timing because there's a whole family in there right yeah, now. Exactly. That's cool. Yeah. So this this one is uh, the color on this one is raw, but we've wrapped it. Yeah. So it has a custom design wrap on it, which our customers can do that when they get the raw, or they can paint it to match. So that's what this product is. And I'm assuming you only just lose a little bit of floor space, or uh -huh. what's changed in here? In fact, in the front here, you see where the tent comes out over the cab. Oh, it does. Uh, there's actually a shelf that folds out, and then the cooler. A refrigerator lives on top of that. Okay. So once you put a collapse in, the cooler goes down right in front of the front cabinet. It's up top. Cooktop is closest to the steps. Mm -hmm. The shelf comes over, folds down over the oh, cooler. Oh, that shelf goes over. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. It doesn't stay there. Yeah. And then the roof comes down and meets up with the front of the camper. Yeah. Still being behind the cab, but uh, but again. Almost the same height as a cat. So very cool. Yeah, a lot going on here. This <laughs> is our first one. This is our prototype. Oh, it's a prototype. We just to bring it to show people, hey, yeah. this is what we got coming next, and, mm -hmm. and we've got four other models that we're developing too. Um, a 5.0 model for the Gladiator, which mm -hmm. is the difference between this one and that one will be the wall profile. The wall profile will actually meet up to the same angle as what the Gladiator oh, walls yeah. are. Yeah. We have a 5.5, uh, so a five and a half foot mod truck bed model. beds mm -hmm. if anybody wants to buy that and then we have a four and a half footer which uh, we're really excited about that one because it's going to fit in the Rivian R1T when that one releases oh wow so yeah that's cool and I'll just fly in here just real yeah. quick and kind of look so 
So basically, essentially, all the same features though, right? Yeah. Just a little bit smaller footprint. That's a little shorter, a little bit yeah. narrower. Yeah. Um, the Gladiator model will, will be wider because this is Yeah, that's nice though. To, to have such a tiny truck with that much features yeah. is just insane. It is. Yeah, that is awesome. Very cool. Okay, so let's end this with uh, price and then uh, a website. Definitely. Yeah. Our prices range anywhere from uh, sixteen thousand, roughly, mm -hmm. for the bare bones package, all the way up to thirty-nine thousand uh, for the kit and caboodle. So all of our all of our models are the same price. They all really have the same amount of content, so that's why our pricing is the same for each model. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you can catch up with us on uh, www.skinnyguycampers.com. Uh, we actually, you can go out there now and uh, reserve any one of our models. Uh, the soonest one's available will be the six, model 6.5, which fits a six and a half foot bed. Um, we are in development of truck, truck bed campers for, um, or models for every, for every truck so, bed out there. So all the so. Tacoma guys, yep. all the F-150 guys, yep. Ram yep. guys, everybody can get yep. one. Yep. Nice. In fact, nice. in the show, we have, a, we have our five, Model 5.0 for the Tacoma. Oh, nice. Down the way, so. Nice. Yeah. All right, so there you have it, guys. Like I said, something you never seen before. Truck camper on steroids, man. It's like the best one I've ever seen. Shower, toilet, sleeping for, you know, two people comfortably, and fits in your garage. Pretty awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Yep, thank you.